Okay, what's up guys? I uh got my four wheeler here. Um I got some issues and a little bit of a wreck, but it wasn't for me. My friend kinda ran my fucking four wheeler over with his and it hit off my push bar and hit my headlight, so I just have to add it on that because I was at night and my headlights should be coming I got a new headlight coming. Like a whole cover thing. And a new gas cap because the gas cap leaks. Um, it runs fine. Other than, uh, oh shit, I have my gun in here. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. And, uh, the chain adjusters, I had to do a bunch of work to it. it took me about an hour and a half because. I don't, because I could only use a fucking wrench instead of a socket. And I would adjust it, but now my chain's pretty good. I could tighten it up a little bit more. My exhaust is cracked in the back here. Like, right there. I put some JB Weld on it. Obviously, it didn't hold. It's a 250cc uh, water cooled uh, ATV. It's a Raketa. And I had to buy a new fan for it because my other one blew out, if you can see that. That's the new one. It has seven blades on it. <coughs> Fuck. This is the old one. This is actually metal. And this is the fan, which only has five. But the motor went bad in it. And, uh, yeah. This tail light thing, I mean, some of it's cracked. Um, all the problems I've had with it, very minimal, just poor maintenance um the uh fuck wrist pins or whatever the fuck they're called uh, I had time uh, I'd get new pins for it you can see that and then I had to uh, impact these down because my back axle was loose so I took off the hubs greased them because they have teeth in them you want to keep those greased or yeah yeah keep them greased I had to buy a new key ignition because it, the key ignition was a, uh, I'll show you exactly what the key ignition was when I bought it. I think it's in here in my little mischief of shit. This was the key ignition. This, this thing right here. This little toggle switch. Um, the fan works nice. This is the connector for the fan. I need to hide that up somewhere. Um, I did clean out the carburetor not that long ago. Oh shit, this is a bolt for my frame. I can't lose that. I mean, I, I got a new one, but just in case. Clean up the carburetor. It looks cleaner than all this. Don't ask me why the battery's there. Because I'll give you the answer. Battery box goes right there where that piece of broken metal is. Well, battery box is over here. There's the chain. Here's the battery box. Um... I was going through the trails, and then my friend was like, oh, what the fuck happened to your battery? And then I looked next to me, and it's just hanging there, so I go, oh, shit, so I need to throw that away. And uh, I cut my hand on it. it. I can't really move it too well anymore. I think I might need to get a tetanus shot or some shit. Um, I'm going to make my own one of these, just because I can, and it's better than, you know, whatever it was. What the, the shitty stuff that comes with it so I was in the process of loosening these um yeah <laughs> fucking what are you tie rods I need new tie rods well no I don't I just greased them but it needs to be power washed I got LEDs on it I put LEDs on it that long ago when I turn on the ignition the fan is gonna come on automatically does that I wish there's like I know the thermostat on it but I think the guy cut out the like so that when the fan comes on uh it doesn't come on with a key ignition but it does all right so as you can see the fan's right there it's blowing out some uh heat i mean blowing out some wind you know whatever the fuck it's called um what was i gonna do shit i can't remember man it's been a long day oh yeah leds They look really nice at night. Re really, really nice. Turn those off. 
Oh shit, it's in gear. There we go. Shit, hold up. Ah, oh, fuck it. it. It hasn't been started in like four or five hours, so it's cold and the battery is dead because I was fucking with shit. And yeah. Um. Basically, it's so far. I'm gonna sell it pretty soon. I just bought it to fix it, sell it, do a couple of things. But I just painted those. Looks like it needs black on the bike. More black. Um, I wanted to paint my rims, but I think that it looks fine like that. Just need to be, need to power wash the shit. As soon as I get my light, my gas cap, that's it. I'm I'm done. I'm selling it. Um. Yeah. It's a five speed. All down. Well, four speed, but five speed if you add a reverse as a, as a gear. Which, you know, it is. And I am kind of don't want to step on these black footrests because I just painted them. And they're a tiny bit not dry. So, I adjusted my clutch. So now, if I pull in that much, it engages. Pull in all the way. It's like, damn. Adjusted my brake. So now, can't move. I bled my brake my back foot brake and if y'all don't know how to do that basically the one person method is you push down let's say you're even in your car damn all right let's say you're in your car you push on your brake and this is an eight millimeter little nipple right here you pull that up brake fluid shoots out all the air comes out you close it then you let off the brake line the, the brake foot brake pedal shit yeah just do that until all the air is out it's nice and blood uh, my brake fluid was all rusty, it wasn't good, so I flushed that all out with dot three. Dot three, the what everybody uses as the brake lines. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really give a fuck. But it says dot three, dot four. Either one will work. I know brake fluid's really corrosive. You don't want to fuck with it. Could eat your paint, which probably will. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's basically it. I think I've done enough riding, riding videos. Um, I should probably JB weld that again and see if that don't help. But I need to buy an exhaust for it. Either I'm going to sell it after I get my lights and my gas cap. Or I'm going to keep it, which I want to sell it to buy something else. I mean, I got the money to buy anything. But, you know, it's just... This is just a hobby. It's, it's easy. I'll probably, I should have did a video on how to install your fan. It's really simple. Two bolts and a fucking switch. A plug. Um, this is, <coughs> shit. This is the reservoir for your uh, antifreeze, water, whatever you want to put. I, I've just kept water in it because a couple days ago I had a hose. that had a tiny bit of a fracture in it and it started squirting out. It has really good water pressure. Ha. <laughs> Fuck! I learned that one, <laughs> and uh, I just took I just took a little bit off the hose and put pushed it back in and clamped it, and now it's all good. Um, I really like it. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, y'all. Take care. It's my little dog River. All right. See y'all later. <laughs>